So now let's take a look at DaVinci Resolve 10's new power curve. Unlike the previous power curve, which was very B-splinish, using the number and proximity of control points from one another to automatically shape the curve, DaVinci Resolve 10 now uses a more traditional Bezier drawing tool. So for instance, clicking once creates an angled point, clicking and dragging gives you a set of Bezier handles that you can use to precisely shape the curve however you need it to be. So by clicking and dragging, you can very carefully create some nice, precise results. However, clicking once gives you a straight angle. Now, once you've created a shape using this tool, it's easy enough to alter it simply by clicking and dragging any point. Clicking a point exposes the Bezier handles. If you want to break the handles off from one another, you can press the Option key and then click and drag any handle to create two differently shaped curves. Alternately, if you want to turn an angle into a curve, you can hold the Option key down and click and drag to turn any angle into a Bezier. To turn it back into a hard angle, simply double click that point. And if you want to get rid of a point, simply middle click that point. New points can always be added by clicking on the surface of the curve. And in this way, it's very easy to draw pretty much any shape you might need. With this set up, I can go ahead and track it, just like every other type of shape. And of course, if I feel like I need another power curve, all I have to do is click the Add Power Curve button to instantiate one more.